Hello and welcome to Quick Tips, the WooCommerce video series. In this video, I'm going to install a free plugin which will enable the partial payment on your WooCommerce website. So your customer will be able to deposit some amount of payment while making a purchase. So this plugin is a free WooCommerce deposits plugin or you can say the WooCommerce partial payment plugin. This plugin has free as well as the pro version. So we will start with the free plugin and later we will install the pro version also. So here I'm logged into the dashboard of the WooCommerce website that I have created using InstaWP. InstaWP is a platform where you can create WordPress website for testing and learning purpose. I have already published a video on how to use the InstaWP platform to create WordPress website for your clients or for the testing and learning purpose. I'll give you the link in the description box if you want to watch this video. So here we are on the WooCommerce website. So let's go to the dashboard then go to plugins and click on add new and here search for WooCommerce deposit now you will see some plugins here and this is the plugin that we are going to install deposits and partial payments for a WooCommerce buy now this plugin is developed by Codex here so this is the plugin that we are going to install so let's click on install now and click on activate all right, so you can see the plugin has been installed. Now let's go to settings. You will also see the option here, codex here, and under that we have deposit plugin. So it will show deposit settings here. So these are the basic settings of this plugin. Order only deposit products or regular ones. So if you want the customer to add both deposit and the regular product in the same card, you can enable allow deposits and regular item together. I'll show you how does this work right now it is set to order only the deposit products or the regular products in the cart at a time deposits for all products that is not available for the free version if you want to enable the deposits for all the products in a single click you need to enable this but that option is available only in the pro version now this is deposit paid status so you can set the order status when deposits are paid you can mark it as completed or you can Mark it as on hold or cancel. So these are the settings that you can change here. And if you want to disable the payment methods such as credit card, check payment, cash on delivery. So right now we have three payment gateways enabled on this dummy website. So if you want to disable any one of them, you can simply check that option and it will get disabled for the partial payments only. All right, let's save it. Now let's go to advanced settings and all these advanced settings are available only for the pro version. Next is text and labels. So this is the regular product notice. So in case if you add a regular product as well as the partial payment product in the cart, it will show this message. We detected that your cart has regular products. So please remove that. And this is the pay deposit. Let's do one thing. We will check how does this look on the actual product. So let's go to products let's open all products and we will enable this partial payment on one of the products here so this is the product let's start with this one click on edit and on this product in the left hand side you will see this deposit click on it and in order to enable it you need to check this box enable deposit now here you will see different options percentage of amount or fixed deposit so if you select let's say percentage of amount then customer will have to pay that percentage of amount while making a purchase let's say if you enter 10 percent then customer will have to pay 10 percent of the actual amount of the product or you can make it as fixed amount and it will be ten dollars five dollars whatever you want here i'm going to make it ten dollars so customer will have to pay ten dollars as a deposit let's update it let's view the product and this is how the product will look you will see two different options are here deposit and full payment if customer wants to pay full payment then they can select this option if they want to select deposit or the partial payment they can select this option so ten dollars will be the deposit amount for this particular product now let me add this product to the card and let's go to view card and you will see the regular price and this is the deposit payment and this is the due payment all right so customer will have to pay $10 and this is the due payment of $22.90. All right, now let's go to shop again. And let's try to add this product. 
and you will see that message we detected that your cart has a deposit products please remove that and after that you can add the regular product so it is not going to allow the combination of partial payment product and the regular product now let's go back to settings of the deposit payment go to general settings and now we can check this option allow deposits and regular items together into an order let's click on save let's go back to shop again so right now we have only one product uh, that is the partial payment product here and let me add one more now and you will see that we have two products so after enabling this option both types of products can be added into the card this is how the free deposit for WooCommerce plugin work. I do have the pro version of this plugin, so I'm going to install the pro version now. Let me show you the website. This is the website, Codex here, and this is the plugin, Bina Deposits for WooCommerce. If you want to buy this plugin, I'll give you the link in the description box. Let me show you the pricing also. This pro plugin will cost you $49 per year, that is for one site. And in this one, you will get one year free support, priority email support, and all the features are included in this startup plan. If you compare this with other WooCommerce deposit plugin, you will find that this one is more cheaper than other plugins. Let me show you. Now here, I have two different premium plugins which will help you create the WooCommerce deposit partial payment option on your WooCommerce website. So this is the WooCommerce deposits plugin, which is the official plugin on the WooCommerce website. And this plugin will cost you around $219. Now the features may be different on all these plugins. So you will need to compare the features and the pricing before you go for any premium plugin now here is another woocommerce deposits plugin that is yith woocommerce deposits plugin and the pricing of this plugin is 129 dollars per year so if you consider pricing then this plugin will cost you only 49 dollars per year so i do have the premium version of this plugin and i'm going to install it if you want to buy this plugin i'll give you the link in the description box and if there is any discount coupon code i'll mention that in the description box so let's go back to the website let's go to plugins again and go to add new let's go to upload plugin i have it downloaded so i'm going to upload it this is the plugin install click on activate plugin all right so the pro is activated and the default free version is deactivated let's go to settings again and you will see a slightly different dashboard for the premium version allow deposit and regular items together into an order so these are the same options now the default selection will be let's say pay deposit or full payment deposit options are move under each variable so if you have variable products you can enable the partial payments for the variable products also that comes under the premium version let's go to advanced settings and now here you can see that future payments is on customer can pay due payment for deposit orders send due deposit payment reminder so you can send the deposit reminder after several days you can set the date also days after the first payment if you want them to make a payment of the remaining amount after 30 days you can enable the reminder of let's say 25 days and after 25 days of the partial payment it is going to send an email to the customer about the remaining amount shipping handling with deposit tax collection so these are the basic settings you can go through the setting these are simple settings text and labels you can change the text and label from here video style license key so i need to enter the license key here so i'm going to enter it and for the email notification you can go to emails and under email you will see these new options new deposit deposit order deposit full paid deposit paid deposit reminders so these are the email notifications which are created by this new plugin all right now let's go back to the product and let's refresh it let's go to deposits and here you will see force deposit so only deposit payment is allowed for this product let me enable this one and update it let's view the product and here you will see only this pay deposit option is available for this product now no one will be able to make full payment for this particular product if i disable this option deposit and if i disable force deposit then it will 
enable the full payment option also. Let's refresh it. You will see two different options now, pay deposit and full payment. Let's go back to the deposit settings. Now, if you want to enable the deposit option for all the products, you can do it with this option. This is only a single click option. It will enable the deposit or the partial payment for all the products. Then deposit value will be, let's say $10. So if you want to exclude any product, then you can add that product here. Let's say I do not want this product to have the partial payment, then I, I can select the product from here. So if you want to enable the deposit for all the products, you can do it from here. I'm going to disable it. Click save settings. Now let me try to buy the product as a customer. So I'm going to log into the same website as a customer. So here I have opened the same product page and I'm going to buy this product as a customer. So I'm going to add this product and I have selected pay deposit. Let's go to view card, proceed to checkout. So you can see that I have to pay only $10 and due payment will be $22.90. All right, so I have added some dummy information here and I'm going to place this order. So I'm going to select this option here, cash on delivery and let's place the order. All right, and you can see that the order is completed and I have paid $10 and this is the due amount. Now let's go to the WooCommerce website as admin, go to WooCommerce orders and you will see the new order here and the status is deposit payments. If I go to order details, you will see that I have received $10 and the due amount is 22.90 cents. Now here you will see different actions that you can perform. You can send the deposit reminder notification for this order. You can select it and click update and it will send the reminder to the customer to make the payment of the remaining amount. Now here also you will see the option deposit payments that comes under WooCommerce and you will see all these options. So this is the same order and right now the status is on hold because we have set that option in the deposit payment settings and it will show the pending payment of $22.90. So this is how you can use this free plugin to create the WooCommerce deposits or to enable the partial payment option on your WooCommerce website. So that's it for now. See you in the next video. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools. If you have any questions, please leave us message in comments section. And press the like button if you like the video. Thanks for watching Quick Tips.